Okay, what we got here is we're doing the first, the first of the improvements on this truck. It looked like it was real low on coolant, but I don't think it's as low as we thought. But uh, the trans is definitely low, which I mean I gotta I gotta keep this thing going for a little bit here. I know it's already well past its lifespan, but this is one of the best upgrades you could do right here. Because if you read that, it says for use in Ford vehicles. This is a Chevy, but I mean, this ought to be the best part of this vehicle now. I've never owned a Chevy before, but it's my first one. You never know, maybe I'll uh, start liking them, but so far not so much. Get some of this good oil in here. Maybe it might shift into third gear after this. Maybe. It hasn't shifted into third gear, oh, I think since 2014 or so. Just put put all this in there for now. The reason I ended up with a Chevy is because you can't pass this up. I mean, this is the world's highest mileage truck made by Chevrolet. I, I picked this thing up for $315. It's like a piece of history for 300 bucks. That's pretty good. You're gonna add a little coolant in here too. Just cause we gotta keep this thing going for, for our big plans we got. Oh, maybe there wasn't very much coming in there. I thought there was a little in there. We'll just... There you go. Fill it all the way up. It'll... Whatever it don't want, it'll spit back out. Alright. I think the more you let it run, man, the less it ticks. It's ready to go. It'll be ready for all kinds of shit now that it's got that Ford transmission fluid in there. Let's see what we got here. I know we already got 1540 in there for engine oil. Might put something thicker in there. It is full though, so. Shit, I'll put a little more in there. It's full of engine oil. Just get all this good Ford oil in here. We'll just go ahead and pour the rest of that in. Poor use in Fords, but it can only improve this. thing ought to run like a champ. At least we don't have to worry about spilling it anywhere. There's oil all over this thing. Underneath's pretty ugly, but I wonder if the AC works on this thing. It might. Oh yeah, we're full now. So, that's how I ended up with the Chevy. You got a piece of history for 315 bucks. You can't go wrong. Can't go wrong at all. I'd prefer to be driving a Ford, but what's gonna happen to this? It's probably better that it's a Chevy. 
Although I do like the Fords, like, got that, got the truck over there, but this thing's sounding pretty good. It's one step closer, one step closer to its glory. It's going to go out in glory.